Our DinoJet wastegate actuator is specifically designed and engineered to give you reliability and performance out of your Can-Am X3 or your Polaris Razor Turbo vehicle. To get that performance, the actuator has to be properly set. We're going to go through that today. Now it's important to know that our actuator is designed to work at 10 pounds of crack pressure. That's with the Polaris Razor and the Can-Am X3 system. Now we're going to start with the Can-Am X3. I know my system's a little bit easier because it is on a workbench, but once you do have the actuator installed, the same principles apply. You are going to need a vacuum pump and your finger. Put the vacuum pump on the valve. You're going to put your finger next to the wastegate valve, and when you apply the pressure to 10 pounds, you'll feel the actuator push against the valve and your finger. We're going to apply pressure, and at 10 pounds, you can feel and see the rod move. 10 pounds, we're good. Now, if you are over or under the 10 pounds, you're going to need a 7 16 and you're going to loosen your nut and adjust your rod in or out accordingly. Now that we're done with the Can-Am, we're going to move on to the players. Same system, different setup. With our Polaris actuator, you will also get our mounting bracket. We have slotted the mounting bracket on the turbo side and the actuator side so you can get a perfect fitment. If you attach it too high up, you're actually going to be rubbing into the mount for the turbo. If you put it too far low, you will be bumping into the oil filter. Get it right in that sweet spot for your vehicle. Adjust the actuator so that your rod moves in a fluid movement so we don't cause any pr premature wear or breakage on this rod right here. Once we have that set up, we're going to put on our vacuum tube on the valve. Use our finger again. Apply pressure till 10 and feel if we're set. 10 pounds starts pushing the wastegate. We're perfect. Now if you are a little high or a little low, you're going to use your 7 16 wrench, loosen the nut, and adjust your rod in or out accordingly. Hope you find this video helpful, and remember, the DinoJet wastegate actuator is designed to work at 10 pounds. If you like this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and if you need any product support, go to DinoJet.com, go to the support tab, and reach out.